about to sneeze. Hey everybody, so first of all, if you're new to my channel, uh, my name's Tim. I go by Mr. Jim Tim on the channel, obviously. Um, most of my videos have to do with cars and things like that. I actually work as a car salesman at a dealership. I have been working in car dealerships for over a year and a half. I also have a year experience in banking and a lot of personal experience when it comes to buying cars and things of that nature. My reason for doing this video is because I have so many people that come in and they're confused at what down payments are and why they have a down payment. They don't understand credit and things like that. So I'm actually going to do a little series here. I don't know how many parts it'll have to it. But for now, we're going to do the first part of this series, which is money down. Okay, and I do get a lot of people that come around and they don't have such great credit and things like that. So the first question they ask is, how much down is this? How much down is that? To be honest, uh, we don't finance in-house like a buy here, pay here. We do utilize banks and um, we do have a couple of banks we can do in-house. The biggest thing is, is the down payment set by the dealer? And in our case and most dealers cases, yes, but no. Technically, the amount of the down payment gets set by the bank, but it's due to numerous factors that are involved in the uh, in, in the process. So your down payment essentially is set by your credit, your credit history, your income amount, things like that. To make this quick and as simple as possible, I'm just going to use an example. So for example, um, in stock I have a Mercedes GLK 350. So banks have an algorithm and I haven't completely figured it out and I don't know if anyone has, but basically your credit versus your income versus your credit and payment history. This, this all works together to form a maximum loan amount set by the bank. Uh, a lot of times in the dealer world, we'll refer to it as you're capped at a certain amount. It's, it's max loan amount. So for instance, one of the banks here, if you have say a 700 score, like a 7, 750, somewhere in that range, they'll loan up to 125% of whatever clean wholesale is on that vehicle, also known as clean trade value. So for example, this Mercedes we have, clean trade or wholesale amount is around $13,500. This means that at 125%, the bank would be willing to loan you $16,875. Now considering we have an asking price of $15,800 on this vehicle, that means that by the time you add in fees and taxes and everything, the total amount to be financed would be around $16,892. Now that's one thing you'll notice with the way we do our pricing. As long as we can get the vehicle at a good enough price, we try to set it up so that by the time you add taxes and everything, you could go get this car financed, preferably at 100% financing so you don't have to put any money down, as long as your credit is good. So what does this have to do with the down payment? Well, for instance, if you have bad credit, the bank may only want to loan you 80% of the value of the vehicle, which in this case means the amount they would be willing to finance with poor credit would only be around $10,800. That means for us to still make money, you'd have to pay $5,000 down. And that's exactly what it is. They aren't willing to give you the full amount of what the vehicle is worth you have to come up with the difference. Now with that said, I have had people come in that didn't have really good credit. They were like in the 400 credit score range. I could approve them and not only would the bank cap the amount, but they actually would set a minimum down payment due, which means even if the car is worth 15 and I'm selling it to you for 10, they are still gonna want money down. The reason they do this is because of liability and risk factor. You've gotta think, if you don't pay on this vehicle, the bank's gonna to have to pay somebody to come get the vehicle, they're gonna repossess it, they're gonna then take the vehicle and sell it at auction. Well, as that vehicle depreciates, say you keep it for six months or a year before you start missing payments and they have to repo it, the vehicle's gonna be worth a lot less money by then, so that initial down payment that you pay assures them because you're a high risk individual according to your credit and payment history. It assures them that if they were to have to get their car back, they could turn around and sell it and 
at least break even, if not make a few dollars. Now another thing is, and I've been over this with some of my customers, is if you pay more down, you can essentially buy yourself a better interest rate. And, and here's how that works. So the bank will come back with the decision based on the numbers I input and based on your credit history from your credit app that you submit to me. A lot of times the bank will initially hit me with the high interest rate that I have to present to you. Now here's my options. I can actually lower that interest rate for you as anybody would like. I mean, everybody wants a low interest rate. For instance, I had someone a couple of weeks ago come in. Uh, they had like a 450 credit score. They were honestly lucky to get approved for a loan. They knew that they would have to pay money down, but then they were upset about the interest rate because the bank wanted around 20%. Well, here's the thing. If you're rebuilding your credit, which I'll address in the next video, you're gonna end up paying a high percentage the first time, or you're gonna need a cosigner, or you're gonna need a ton of money down. The ton of money down in this aspect actually can get you a lower interest rate. And here's why. Just like on this customer's loan I had a couple of weeks ago, I adjusted the interest rate down and said, well, I know you're not happy with the 20%. This is probably what you're gonna be stuck with, but let's just take a look at it and see. And so I sent it off at 12%. And what I got back was a loss of about $2,000 on the deal. What this means is, yes, you're approved. I would lose two grand. If I don't want to lose two grand, guess who has to pay for it? That's right. Which means your down payment would go up $2,000. Because if I'm getting charged two grand to get you a better interest rate, I've got to get it from somewhere. And since I have to stay in business, I have to hit you for that. So my best advice, and again, this will be covered in the next video, is if you have to, just suck it up. You've done something to mess up your credit. You gotta build it back up somehow. Go with the high interest rate for a little while and then either look at refinancing or try to get rid of the car and get something else later once your credit builds up a little better. All right, so last and uh, surely not least, um, benefits to you and benefits to the dealer when it comes to down payment. Okay, so first off, benefits to you of paying more in your down payment. Number one is better bank approval. Number two, lower monthly payments. And number three, if you do later decide to refinance the vehicle or trade it in on something else, you hopefully will owe less than what the vehicle is worth, so you're not what we call upside down. Being upside down in a vehicle means that you owe more than the current value of the vehicle. Paying down initially will help you litigate against that. Uh, for example, if you buy a car that is valued at $10,000 at the time of purchase and you pay $10,000 and you finance $10,000, six months down the road you decide to trade it in, it might only be worth $8,000. However, because your taxes and everything else that got tacked onto it, you might still owe over nine grand on the vehicle which means if you wanted to trade it in, you're gonna take a loss of a thousand. To me, it's better off to go ahead and pay a little bit up front so that later you don't have to lose any money. Okay, so benefits to the dealer. Well, the main benefit to the dealer is we don't lose money and we get to see you get approved for a vehicle and we sell a car. And honestly, that's, that's the only benefit to me as far as I'm concerned is the fact that if the bank doesn't want to give you the full loan amount of what I'm asking on a vehicle, you pay that difference, I get you in a car, I make my money, I can go home and eat another day, and you have a vehicle that you're proud of. All right, so that's gonna do it for this down payment video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please like and subscribe. I just wanna make it simple and easy for people to understand, and I don't wanna seem misleading on anything I'm saying. So if you have any comments, concerns, or questions, or criticisms about the way I'm presenting any of this, please feel free to comment below and I will respond, and I might even respond with the video. So thanks for watching my video. Be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified of the next videos coming up. Buy wisely and be careful with your money because once you lose it, it's hard to get it back. All right. You decide you're gonna do a video <laughs> and your allergies decide to take over because the world hates you. Clean trade on the... <coughs> I'm dying.